Hello scholars, so today we're completing module 1, lesson 19. So as always, let's start with our learning intention. Valve mathematicians apply the distributive property to decompose dividends. So as usual, we're going to complete our problem set after the lesson, then go to Zern, and then Reflex. So you can go ahead and pause the video here because we've already seen these division-related words before. So go ahead, pause the video, read these to yourself, and then press play when you're ready. All right, so here we have the distributive property. We've been working with this for a while as well, a few times. This is probably our third or fourth time seeing this. So again, you can pause and then read these to yourself. So let's get started. Usually, we've been seeing the distributive property used to decompose the one of the factors that we're multiplying to make it easier to multiply. In this case, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to be decomposing the dividend, meaning the number that we're going to be dividing. So this is the dividend, 36, and the divisor is the number we're dividing by. That's 3, and then our answer would be the quotient. So dividend, divisor, quotient. So let's go ahead and see how they broke apart the dividend of 36. So I see 30 and 6. So that is how they broke it apart. 30 plus 6 would give me 36. So instead of dividing 36 by 3, I'm going to divide 30 by, six, by 3 and then divide 6 by 3. So I'm going to use my array to help me out. I see they've already broken apart the 36 to be 30 and 6. So 30 divided by 3, well, one thing I know is that 10 times 3 equals 30. So I'm assuming the answer is 10, but I'm going to double check looking at the array. So if the answer is 10, I should have 10 rows of 3. So 1 row, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm correct. 30 divided by 3 equals 10. And then 6 divided by 3, I only see two rows here. But also, this is another fact that I've seen on Reflex. And that's why I really like Reflex, because it helps me memorize my facts while playing fun games. So I see I now have 10 and 2 as my two quotients. So what I have to do here is add those up. So if you see this box here with these equations, I have 36 divided by 3 equals 30 divided by 3 plus 6 divided by 3. We found that that 30 divided by 3 was 10, so let's go ahead and write that here, and 6 divided by 3 was 2. So if I add these up, I'll get 12. So my final answer, 36 divided by 3 equals 12. So let me go ahead and write it up here. So my quotient is 12. So let's go ahead and do one together. 28 divided by 4. So how do they break apart the 28? Go ahead and look at our expressions here. Well, actually our equations, because that's an equal sign. So hopefully you notice it was 20 plus 8. I have 20 and 8. So go ahead and solve these two separate facts. 20 divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4. Okay, so 20 divided by 4 is 5. There's two ways to solve this. I can look at the number of groups of 4 that I have, and I'm going to count them, I get 5. Another option is reflex, right? So wait, if I remember this, if I remember that 5 times 4 equals 20, it's a fact I learned a reflex, I can use the inverse operation. If 5 times 4 equals 20, then the opposite would also be true, that 20 divided by 4 equals 5. And then 8 divided by 4, that's an easy fact that we've learned earlier on, that is 2. So let me just fill this part in here. So we're going to add our two quotients. So we got 20 divided by 4 was 5, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So our final answer, 5 plus 2 is 7. So let's go ahead and write that up here. So 
So you're going to go ahead and try this last one. So I just want you to write down the two quotients and fill in the blanks here and tell me your final answer, the same way we did with the last two together. So go ahead and pause the video now, solve this at your own pace, and then press play when you're ready. All right, so first thing we should have done is looked at the two equations. I see 20 divided by 4, and that gives me 5, because that's the fact we just did. And then 16 divided by 4, well, I see 1, 2, 3, 4 rows of 4. So that means that 16 divided by 4 is 4. So if I fill in the blanks on here, the first one was 20 divided by 4 plus 16 divided by 4, because 20 plus 16 adds up to 36. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 5 plus 4 is 9. So our final answer, 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Thank you so much for watching, it's, and as always, you can reach out to me on Schoology or hang out if you have any questions. Thanks again.